Hi YouTube I am Shahzad from shekzi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 1 today we are going to start our new series which is the moodle so moodle is the lms learning management system when you type moodle on google so as you can see they are saying moodle is open source learning management systems written in php okay if you want to uh, use the built in or the ready made learning management system this is the best choice uh, as you can see so moodle is saying welcome to the moodle moodle community and discover the value of the open collaborative effort by one of the largest open source teams in the world okay so we are going to use the moodle the current version of the moodle is the 3.8 while i'm while i'm recording this lecture okay now when you click on the documentations you have the documentations where you can start how can you manage your courses how can you manage your site how the moodle apps applications or activities a lot of documentations available here so we will discuss about the moodle in our later lectures that how can you download the versions uh how can you download the moodle sorry and what are the versions so as i am saying that the current version of the moodle is a 3.8 while i am recording this lectures okay so if i because this is the cms this is like cms system like your wordpress wordpress is also a cms systems and this is the learning management system so both are the same things if we need to use the ide so definitely uh, i use the jetbrains tools which is the php storm and for the database purpose uh, we must use the data grid which is which is also the jetbrains tools we can also use the php my admin yes i have installed the zamp in my local environment in my machine so the server i'm going to use the zamp okay if you are working on vamp or some other type of server it's totally depend upon you okay uh, or if you are working on any kind of editor like uh, notepad plus plus like sublime or something else so it's totally depend upon you but i am using the php storm for the programming so you gonna learn many things in this series so we are going to cover a lot of things in this series uh so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to download the moodle and we are going to install the moodle in our local machines so i hope you are enjoying this series and uh, i hope you will enjoy this series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so thank you for watching